What's up YouTube, Sky that one guy here, and today we have a sealed dual overload case to open up. So I already pretty much pre-cut it, but uh, we're just going to do the final, final cuts here. And there we go. So, um, yeah, a uh, released March 20th, 2020 dual overload sealed case. There should be 12 boxes in here. And there we have them. There they all are. Pretty cool stuff. Looks good, nice and uh, packed in there. Can I get one out? There we go. Okay, so I've not uh, not seen this at all. This is the first time I've opened a uh, dual overload set just came out. Might take me a couple days to upload the video, but uh, as of today, the set just came out. So, got a sealed case here, and we're gonna open up all in this video. So, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you open up a sealed case. We have a ton of these, and um, yeah, so we'll get this sealed case opened up. And we'll get all the boxes out, and I'll cut the video here, and we'll be right back. All right, you guys, so we got all the boxes out of the uh, sealed case, and it's looking pretty good. I haven't really decided how we're going to do this yet. I guess what we'll do is um, I'll probably take all the packs out of these boxes to save some time, because I think it would take quite some time uh, just dealing with these throughout the video. And it's probably already going to be a quite a long video, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I just wanted to let you guys know, and... Uh, yeah, so there's uh, six packs in each of these, I believe, plus the, oh, but then we missed the oversized card. Okay, let's let's open up one of these now so you guys can see what the uh, oversized cards look like. So we'll open up one on camera right now, and then I'll probably cut the video um, and just take everything out of all this cardboard because that adds quite some time. To just the whole process the whole video so set those there and so here's the giant cards that come with them pretty unique uh, oh I guess they come like this I can just get them all out and we can just do them all at once at the end we'll show this one since it's already here but uh, let's see how am I supposed to get this out of there I guess that's one way to do it so this one is blue eyes white dragon so they come with these uh, um, I can't, what are they from the manga, I want to say? Something like that. Cards, uh, black and white, giant, not giant cards, but big cards. They're pretty cool. And, uh, Blue Eyes is probably one of the better ones you can get. So, pretty happy with that. Um, now we got our six packs of Dual Overload. Let's get all these out of here. And we'll go ahead and open up these six packs right here, right now. And then I'll cut the video, and I'm just going to go ahead and take everything out. Because that's just, um, it's going to add way too much time to the whole process of the video, the whole whole video probably add a good five ten minutes just dealing with those so first pack of dual overload this is the first pack i have opened um and there's gonna be lots more to come so open up a full case in this video so here we go we start off with a dark anthelian dragon pretty cool and uh, i don't know the full set i haven't looked into it much i know some prices that's about it uh, magical musketeer caspar i like to kind of go in blind kind of makes it more fun oh here we go Celine, Queen of the Master Magicians, and this is a $8 card, right? Yep, this is a $8 card at the time of recording this video. Very cool. Very good looking card, too. I'll have to read that once I'm done. And then we have a card of fate, which, uh, is this the... No, this isn't the one I was thinking of. And then we have a Ojama Emperor. Pretty cool. Pretty good first pack. Definitely happy with that, uh... Serene pull or Celine Celine Very cool first pack. Let's get into our second one And uh, let me know how you guys have been doing on this set. Have you guys pulled anything crazy any really good boxes? I've heard stories of one box having really good stuff. It's six packs. So um, Abyss actor hyper director Hollow Giants Oh Dengir Sue, there's a cool one. I mean, it's only like three bucks right now but uh, you know always cool with a Sting gear suit, no problem there. Swap Frog looks amazing. Looks really good as an Ultra. Definitely happy with that. And then we, oh, dropping cards. DDD Abyss King Gilgamesh. Very cool. So, pretty happy with those, uh, those cards from that pack. Not bad at all. Let's see if we can set those here. Definitely going to be a longer video, I can already tell. Okay. Pack number three, uh, number 27, Dreadnought Dreadnoid, pretty cool, reprint there. 
uh, Cubic Casualty. Then we have Condemned Dark Lord. Not bad. Looks really good. Uh, King Dragoon. And Speedroid Hexa Saucer. So, pretty cool. Plenty more packs to go. I'm um, hoping to get uh, Infinite Impermanence, uh, Kristan um, Halkerbrax, uh, Needle Fiber, however you say it, uh, Cybernetic Overflow, Super Vehicroid Stealth Union, that's a pretty cool reprint. That used to be, uh, well it still is, a uh, very expensive old Secret Rare. Even the Duelist League versions with the colored names, those used to be really expensive. Oh, Fantastical Dragon Phantasme, there we go. That's a solid card to get. Uh, it's only like uh, 10 to $15. I think it's like $13.50. I'll have to check. Uh, I have all the notes next to me, but uh, just didn't have them ready for this. But yeah, Fantastical Dragon Phantasme, definitely a good hit there. And then we have a DDD Abyss King Gilgamesh in another card of fate. So already starting to see some doubles, but that's all right. Next pack. We have a Giga Plant, which was actually a really expensive uh, rare. I think it was from maybe Crossroads of Chaos or something like that. I think it was like a $5 rare, maybe even pushing higher. I want to say, unless I'm thinking of a different card, I totally could be, but I'm pretty sure it was that. Uh, Ferocious Flame Swordsman. Ooh, Chaos Dragon Levy and Near. Very nice looking card. Awesome. They did really good on that artwork. Looks really good for Levy and Near. Uh, and that is a $5 card at the time of recording this, so another strong hit there. Then we have Scrap Orthos. Really cool old uh, reprint from an old secret rare. And a Samorg Bird of Sovereignty. So looking pretty good so far. Got a stack of hollows. And let's get into our last pack of the first box. We have 11 boxes to go. Deck Lockdown, solid reprint. I know the uh, even the commons from Astral Pack were like 3 bucks uh, before they reprinted this. So, pretty needed uh, reprint. Malefic Territory. Ooh, Witchcrafter Creation. That's a good, good pull. Uh, not too valuable, but uh, pretty happy with that. Very cool looking card. Oh, Digusto Emerald. That's a nice one. Can't go wrong with an Emerald ever. I mean, always a good card. Always a cool card to pull. And Card of Fate. Already got a play set of those. And that has been box number one. So our main three highlights would be the Fantastical Dragon Phantasme, Selene, Queen of the Master Magicians, and Chaos Dragon Levineer. I'd say that's our best three from our first box. Definitely think the first box was uh, pretty decent. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and cut the video, and I'm going to open up all these boxes get all the packs out, and we're going to finish the video just to save some time. I don't want to take up too much of you guys' time, so I'll do that now, and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, we are back, and I did the best I could with the camera angle. Uh, it was basically either pointed at the packs or pointed at the giant cards, but I think you guys are okay with missing out on not seeing the whole giant card the whole video. But uh, anyways, so we already opened up one box ahead of time. Um, you guys are already like eight minutes into the video, so thank you much, so much for that. Here's the last box. I decided... I opened 10 boxes and here's all the packs, so 6 packs per, I kept them in the same box, uh, same pile, so 60 packs there, but it felt weird making an odd pile, so I figured we'll open up one more box on camera and then do the rest as packs, so we're going to open up this one last box, um, take an extra look, oops, bump the camera, take an extra look at the uh, packaging, I didn't look at it that close last time, and um, after we open the packs from this box, then we'll get into... Man, I'm just bumping the camera left and right today. This is going to be a sloppy video. Um, I figure we'll open up these six packs, and then we'll go through all the giant cards, and then we'll get into what you guys came to see, the rest of the packs, the 60 packs there on the table. So hopefully you guys can bear with me through that. And let's get into this. It's probably going to be a pretty long video, so everybody uh, watches the whole thing. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. So let's get going on these six packs here. Um, so yeah, definitely let me know how you guys have been doing on pulls with this set. Uh, we'll start out with Raid Raptor Wise Strix. Pretty good card there, actually. Uh, Speedroid Marble Machine. And Relinquished Anima. Pretty cool. Really cool looking card, actually. They did really good on that artwork. I really like that one. Uh, then King Sukui. And White Mare. Good, solid reprint there. 
All right, so definitely liking this set a lot. Like I said, this is my first time opening it. Uh, I didn't look at the complete set list. I knew of most of the cards in here, but I, oh wow. Whoa, look at that. That didn't, I didn't do that. I don't think, huh. That card got bent. Let me look at the pack wrapper. Yeah, no, I opened it on the, huh, whatever, okay. Ferocious Flame Swordsman, Destiny Hero Celestial. Then we have a Armalire, the Star Leader Dragon. Synchro Transcend and Malefic Tune. Guess I'll be a little more careful opening this. I don't think how I opened it could cause damage, but uh, you never know. No, this one has a bend too, and I was super careful with that one. Huh. Deck Lockdown, Malefic Selector. There's another Selene, and luckily that one's not bent. Okay. Selene, Queen of the Master Magicians. That's our second one of those already. That is a $8 card. We got one of those in the previous part of the opening. So DDD, Abyss King, Gilgamesh, and Vanity's Ruler. There's a good reprint. So, yeah, let me know if you guys have been able to find Dual Overload. I know, um, I don't know, I heard some people say it was hard to find. Um, Raid Raptor Wise Strikes. Maybe because people are buying them. Maybe because stores aren't being restocked efficiently right now. A lot of card shops are closed right now. Uh, Marble Machine. Oh, another Levianir. Wow. Okay. Oh, Salmon Great Almirage. That's a really good reprint. And Zombie World, another really solid reprint. I know the Legendary Collection Joey's World, I think it is. Zombie Worlds were like 10 bucks, so they were getting a little outrageous. Alright, we start out with another deck lockdown. Malefic Territory. Five-Headed Link Dragon. Wow, okay, that looks awesome. Look at that. That's a cool looking card. Another Digusto Emerald. Card of Fate. Again, we got a few of those already. And so last pack of that box, and then we'll get into the giant cards. And yeah, we'll go from there. So Malefic Selector. Firebrand Hymnist. Hymnist. Yep. Uh, another Witchcrafter Creation. And Angricum Umbrella. Very interesting name there. Cool looking artwork though. And um, Protector Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman. Yeah, wow. Very uh, very cool cards, new cards there. I've not seen those before. That was definitely a first for me. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go ahead and go through all these giant cards. So if that's not your thing, go ahead and just skip the next minute or two of the video. I'll try and do it quick. So I just figured I know some people like to see what you get. Man, what's the easiest way to get this out of there? Oh, I guess like that. So we have two blue eyes so far. Pretty cool. Okay, next. So we have 12 of these. We have 10 more. Oh, there's a Dark Magician Girl. That's the one I wanted, actually. I was going to say that, but I totally forgot. But yeah, Dark Magician Girl, that's the one we wanted for sure. So next would be... Oh, look at that. Cyber Dragon Infinity. That one's got a lot more text on it, definitely. Definitely Cyber Dragon Infinity. That's cool. And then... Hopefully somebody likes this. I don't know if you guys wanted to see these or not, but... Oh, the Dark Magicians. Okay, these actually look really good. I mean, they are black and white, which is a little strange. But uh, they look pretty good. I mean, that card does not look bad at all. And I apologize if there's an easier way to do this. I'm sure I could, like, bend it out, but I just figure this is the most reasonable way without damaging the card. So, Tour Guide from the Underworld. Really cool. Then we have a, another Stardust Dragon. Oh, no, we, we haven't gotten Stardust Dragon. I apologize. No, we have not gotten that yet. Okay, so. And I didn't look into how many different ones there are, so I don't even know if we're close to getting them all or way off. Okay, so we're starting to get doubles now. Cyber Dragon Infinity. Got, like, maybe five more left, something like that. Uh, Stardust Dragon, definitely in the doubles now. And another one. Another Dark Magician Girl. I'm not going to complain with the double on that. And last two, and then we're back to packs. And the rest of the video is just opening packs. Nice, we got a playset of Dark Magician Girls. That's our first playset. Awesome, yeah, our first playset is the card I wanted the most. That's awesome. And last one is another tour guide. So, two tour guides, two blue eyes, three Dark Magician Girl, two Stardust, 
two infinities, and one of the Dark Magicians. So, really cool. Let me know your guys' thoughts on these uh, giant cards, big cards, whatever they're calling them. I'm not really sure. Um, but let me know your thoughts on those. And, uh, yeah. I hope they, you know, keep the same idea but improve on it. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing some colored ones, you know, down the road. Uh, like if they did a set like this again, but, um, you know, made some, you know, colored ones. I mean, the manga one's a cool idea. But, uh, yeah, so let's get into our 60 packs. So, I kept these all in the order of the boxes that we opened. So, be cool. If it comes from one pile, that's the box it came from, you know, no mixing up. So, Hysteric Sign, Blackwing Zephros, and we have a Artifact Dagda. Which is, uh, I think it's a $2.50 card, so not bad. Um, then we have a Chaos Goddess. Really cool card. Used to be, a, well, its original printing was a secret rare, and it looked really nice. So, Malefic Tune. So, 60 more packs to go. We're already almost uh, coming up on 20 minutes. I don't know. Um, Alien Shock Trooper Inframe. Destiny Hero Celestial. Madolce Magiline. That's a solid reprint. Spot Frog, and uh, Dangerous Fright for Nightmare. Okay. Dark Anthelian Dragon, Magical Musketeer Caspar, and then we have a Lib the World Key Blade Master. That looks really nice. Really cool looking card. And this is a $3 card, so not bad there. Paleozo. Dino Mischiefs, really good reprint, and a Cyframe Lord Omega. So definitely some solid reprints in here. This set does remind me a lot of uh, Duelist Saga, I want to say. Yeah, du no. Is that the one with the Ultra Rares? I believe it is. Um, Last Warrior from Another Planet. And that's just because the packs in there were white. They kind of had the same layout in the packaging. Uh, Inma's Judgment, yeah. Condemned Dark Lord, and Kingyo Sukwe, and Magic Formula. Okay, so, man, that's so weird, somehow, like, all these cards got, like, bent a little bit at the top, Super v Croid Stealth Union, Cybernetic Overflow, Tinny Spirit Saha Srasa, and Cerevis the Ancient of the As and Ascended, and Speedroid Hino Saucer. Yeah, it's weird, like, when I opened the box, all I did was grab the packs out, so I didn't, I mean, I didn't do anything weird that would cause damage. You can see there's no, like, bins here, and when I'm opening them, you know, I'm just, like, barely touching that right there. I didn't even touch the cards, so, and it still has a bin, so I don't, I don't know what happened there exactly, but oh well. Uh, it's only the first two cards, so, Giga Plants, <clears throat> Malefic Territory. And Trap Tricks, uh, Jin Lysia. Very cool looking card. Look at that. That looks awesome. Very good job on that. Definitely a good looking set. Um, don't think it's worth too much, but uh, Ojama Emperor and Malefic Divide. Very cool. So, yeah. Uh, this set, like I said, reminds me of uh, Dual Saga a lot. Just the pack arts, how it's uh, boxed up, and how it's all ultra rares. Um, Bis Actor Hyper Director, Hollow Giants, and Sky Striker Ace Coggery. Look at that. That looks so cool. That's a good looking Coggery. Definitely cool. Uh, Emerald and Synchro Transcend. Tons and tons of hollows from opening a case. You definitely get uh, enough cards to fill up a binder, I would say, if that's the route you wanted to go. Number 27 Dreadnought Dreadnoid. Cubic Casualty. Ooh, Infinite Impermanence. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Infinite Impermanence. Time of recording this. $20. Very, very strong. Good card. And that is our best pull so far. So very happy with that. And Cubic Dharma and Magical Musketeer Starfire. So really happy with the pulls overall. We still need a uh, Needle Fiber or Crystron Halcifrax. I don't know. I haven't even, that's the first time I even said that name out loud. Um, still like to get the Predaplants uh, Verte Anaconda. It's a solid card. And uh, some other good cards in here as well. So, Hollow Giants, Dark Antileon Dragon, another Levineer. I think that's our third one so far, if you include the start of the video. Secret Transcend and 
Cy Frame Lord Omega. Alright, 60 packs is a lot of packs. I feel like this is going to be a long one, so bear with me. Hysteric Sign, Raid Raptor Wise Tricks, Celestial Night Lord Parshath, okay. Um, Bloom Harmonist, the Meliodas Composer, and Malefic Paradox Gear. Dark Anthelian Dragon, Hollow Giants. Ooh, Cyber Dragon Infinity with that alternate uh, artwork. Very cool. Very nice looking card. Awesome. That looks good. Scrap Orthos. Some more Bird of Sovereignty. Get my piles mixed up here. Alright, last pack of this box. Mystical Space Typhoon. Very cool. Number 27. And there's the Pride of Plant. Verte Anaconda. This is a $19 card at the time of recording. This is pretty much $20. Uh, very cool card. Pretty good. Pretty good pull there. So now we're just missing uh, Needle Fiber, and then we've got all the top cards of the set. Digusto Emerald and Card of Bait. So not bad at all. Let's get into the next box. Okay, Alien Shock Trooper M Frame, it's Destiny Hero Celestial, Sky Tracker Ace Coggery, Swap Frog, and Dangerous Frightfur Nightmare. Very cool name. It's definitely one I haven't seen before. Let's keep going on the next pack. It'll let me. We have another Dark Anthelian Dragon. If I'm saying any of these names wrong, I apologize. Mag uh, Magical Musketeer Caspar. Oh, another Infinite Impermanence already! We just pulled one like in this box, and now we got one here. That's awesome. So two Infinite Impermanences. I would love it if we could pull at least one more. That'd be that'd be really nice. So, Side Frame Lord Omega and Paleozoic, Paleozoic Dinomiscus. Very good pulls so far. Very happy with this opening. All right, <clears throat> definitely, uh, if you're enjoying this video, please do give it a like, subscribe, helps out a lot. Uh, share it if you can, even if you uh, share it to, you know, wherever, it doesn't matter, just uh, it helps out the algorithm for sure, and uh, helps people see these videos. So, Hollow Giants and Union Carrier, there we go, this is a $14 card, very good looking card, very happy with that, and we're definitely on a good spree here, Digusto Emerald and Synchro Transcend. Definitely looking good so far. Definitely happy with these pulls. Let's keep going. Number 27. Dark Anthelian Dragon. Oh, Dengirsu again. Okay. Card of Fate and Scrap Orthos. Not going to complain about it, Dengirsu. Next pack. Blackwing Zephyros, the Elite. Bis Actor Hyper Director. Ooh, sign up mining. I forgot about this for a little bit, but uh, this is a ten dollar card. Time recording this very, very good reprint there. Definitely a sought after card. And protector, whelp of the destruction swordsman, and salmon great almirage. Some really strong reprints in this set. They did a great job, in my opinion. Overall. Okay, alien shock trooper M frame. Try not to get that glare on you guys too bad. Uh, Destiny Hero Celestial, and I don't think we've gotten this one yet, Starving Venomy Lethal Dose Dragon. That was a hard one to read for a second, couldn't quite see the name. Another Chaos Goddess, very cool. And Malefic Tune. Get going on the next pack. And here we go, Cybernetic Overflow. Speedroid Marble Machine. Bujinki Ahasha Ahashima, I think. I think that's how you say it, Malefic Tune, and Agricum Umbrella. Okay, so it looks like this is uh, like Dual Power and a lot of the other All Hollow sets where the, um, the card in the middle of the pack is usually uh, your best chance at the good card. So I believe that's how this set works. So Reptilian Echidina, Watt Draft, let's see if we can get something good. Oh, Cyber Dragon Infinity, alright, not bad, not bad. And then we have a Dangerous Fright for Nightmare and a Chaos Goddess. Um, so, if you guys don't know what I mean when I said, uh, it is a five card pack. 
So the front two and the back two are probably um, the hard, the easier to get hollows with uh, the middle card being the more rare. So Dark Anthelion Dragon, Hollow Giants. So this should be the better pull. Extra Hero Infernal Divisor. So we haven't gotten that one yet. Then we have Cubic Dharma and Dangerous Fright for Nightmare. So like if we're going to pull an Infinite Impermanence or something, it's probably going to be the middle card. Um, that's how, usually how it goes with these types of sets. So Pretty cool. If we were doing like the card trick or something, I'd put the middle card in the back, but we won't do that since we're opening up so many packs. So Mystical Space Typhoon, number 27. Another Dengir, so getting quite a few of those. Oh, our first double evolution pill. It's not bad. And White Mare. Okay. Looking pretty good. I'd like to get, uh, like I said, that Christron, uh, we'll just, we're, we're just going to call him Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber for the rest of the video. Uh, this actor, Hyper Director, Herald of Mirage Lights, and Rose Bell of Revelation with Protector Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman and the Umbrella. <laughs> Starting to get quite the uh, duplicates now. Definitely in the duplicate territory. Chris, uh, Cybernetic Overflow, Last Warrior from Another Planet, solid reprint. Um, very cool card from, I want to say Labyrinth of Nightmare was its original printing. Very cool. Then we got another one of these Starving Venomy, uh, Speedroid Hexasaucer, and Kingyo Sukai. Alright. Wow, we're already almost halfway. That's not bad. Not bad. We're making decent time. I knew it was going to be a long video, so. Um, this actor, Witchcraft or Creation, Starfire, Emerald, not bad. Probably start to pick things up on the, uh, going through all the cards that we've seen so many doubles. So, Terraforming. Number 27. Oh, needle fiber? Nope. <laughs> Artifact Dagda. Fuma. There we go. We haven't gotten that one yet. That's a good uh, six samurai reprint. Reptilian Echidina. Uh, Erna's Judgment. And Magiline. Okay, not bad. Golden Castle. Solid reprint. Vanity's Ruler. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this set as a whole. Um, are you guys buying it? Are you not buying it? Um, you know, ha have you had any good pulls? And uh, yeah, just I'd love to just hear you guys' thoughts on this set. Um, you know, did they did they do good fitting all the reprint slots in there? Um, is there anything you think should have been in here? Oh, there it is, Chris on Halka Fabrax Needle Fiber. There it is. Okay, so we got pretty much everything we wanted. Now all I can ask for is uh. Just duplicates of what you see here. Just, um, yeah, very cool. So, looking good. Needle fiber, we finally got one. Took quite some time for it to get here, but we uh, we finally got it. All right, and then we have uh, the umbrella and the destruction swordsman. So, looking good. Uh, like I said, now it's pretty much just uh, maybe one more impermanence, um, some more phantasmes, infinite impermanence. Uh, I just said impermanence twice. A anaconda any of that stuff would be uh, nice so watch ref cybernetic overflow starving venomy chaos goddess and malefic tune uh, actually I'll start on this side so halfway through this stack of 60 packs so 30 more packs to go number 27 cubic casualty oh there's our first chocolate ala mode very cool uh, medulce card um, I do have an uncut sheet with this card on it. Very cool. Um, it was an old YCS promo, so definitely check that video out if you want to see um, what I'm talking about. Basically, it's uh, nine cards on an uncut sheet. Pretty cool, and I have one with this exact uh, card on it from its original set, so pretty sweet. All right, let's keep going. Judgment, Terraforming. Cyber Dragon Infinity, Vanity's Ruler, and Fuma. Not trying to go too fast, but at the same time, we're already like 30 minutes in. I don't want to take up your guys' whole day. Uh, Hysteric Sign, Raid Raptor, Wise Strix, Starving Venomy, some more Bird, King Dragoon. Alright, I'm feeling a good pull coming up here real soon. Definitely uh, like this video. If uh, if you enjoyed this opening, and uh, let me know if you want to see more. Cubic Casualty. Director. Oh, there's another Phantasme. All right. Let's get 
This is the one we pulled at the start of the video. I'm going to get that on camera. And uh, there's our other two pulls from that pack. Let's get these Phantasmias up here. They definitely deserve a spot in the limelight. Move over, Levian here. You're cool, but uh, definitely want to fit those on there. So let's keep going. All right, that was a good call. Let's see if we can keep uh, the good pulls going. Olympic Selector. Hymnist. Ooh, Infernal Divisor. I don't think that's one of the better ones. Still cool, though. Secret Six Samurai Puma. And a Paradox Gear. Okay. Really trying through these packs. Burning through them now. Stair Sign. Blackwing Zephros. Mayakashi Mayhem. Malefic Divide. And um, Bloom Harmonist. Okay. Four more stacks to go. And uh, for anybody just looking to get some hollows to build a binder, you know, this is a, this is a decent way to go. You know, that's all the hollows we've gotten so far, including, not including, sorry, these ones over here as well. So, yeah, definitely a good uh, good chunk of hollows for anybody that wants to uh, buy this set. Okay, Watch Giraffe, Reptilian Echidina, Cyber Emergency. I don't think we pulled one of those yet, or maybe we did. No, I don't think we did, but uh, that's a $5 card, so that is definitely a win in my book. With an emerald and a card of fate. So yeah, I'm gonna for anybody still actually watching this far into the video, I'm sure there's not that many of you. Um, I am gonna be opening up, I'm gonna have a lot of great videos coming up soon. Um, I'm gonna be opening up an OTS sealed box, so in a hundred packs. I think it was OTS 12 or 11 or something like that. Um, I'll have to check, but uh, that should be really fun. Um, we're gonna do that real soon. Or I might have already posted it. No, no, no. I think this video will come first. Um, but yeah, so that'll be really soon. And uh, we'll hopefully pull some cool ultimate rares there. Uh, then we have, um, what is it? Uh, 24 packs of Absolute Power Force first edition to open. So a box is worth of packs. Coggery, Almirage. Um, so we got a box worth of those. Hopefully pull a Ghost Rare. I actually have them next to me. I'll just, I'll grab one of them. We have 24 of these to open. That'll be coming up real soon. Um, so hopefully we can pull... Maybe some ultimate rares or ghost rares. I have uh, some stuff that came from Jobber. If, you guys, if anybody knows Jobber, I got a mail day from him. We'll have that video posted up soon as well. Um, some really cool stuff from Jobber. Very nice guy. Um, if you don't know who I'm talking about, just type in Jobber into the old YouTube search. And uh, you'll definitely find him. It's very easy to find his channel. He's made quite a few videos. And a uh, very great guy. So... We'll have that video coming up as well. Just kind of a preview of what's on the agenda. So, um, Tinny Spirit Sahasraha. I'm butchering that name every time. Uh, and then what else do we have? We have um, this. I think I'm going to do this uh, soon. Maybe I'll wait for like 2,500 subs. Something like that. But it is a first edition Ancient Sanctuary uh, box. So one of the original, original boxes of the game. Uh, first edition, not like one of the first few, but it is in the before the GX era. It's one of the LOB through AST, as they call it. I want to say it was like the 11th set, or something like that. I don't know, maybe sooner. Um, Ferocious Flame Swordsman, Destiny Hero Celestial, and ooh, we haven't gotten this yet. Mecha Phantom Beast Aurora Don. Very cool. Umbrella Destruction Swordsman. Um, but yeah, so those are all really cool things coming up. Um, I might at some point, I have a, uh, first edition Legend of Blue Eyes pack that I was thinking about opening up, um, try our luck there. That's like a $200 pack, so if you guys want to see that, let me know and I'll add that to the, uh, queue of things to open. And Yuki Ona, the Absolute Zero Mayakashi, very cool artwork, look at that, really nice looking card. They did a really good job with this set, for sure. Um, but yeah, so that's, uh, another thing that we, uh, we'll, we'll definitely open it at some point in time. Just, uh, I haven't really decided if there's a certain time I should do it or if I should try and buy a couple more. Cause I don't want to just do a one pack open, one video, one pack, you know. So maybe I'll buy some more of those, but they are pretty expensive. So I'd have to see, uh, a good amount of interest. But, uh, Giga Plants, Flame Swordsman. Ooh, we haven't gotten this one yet. Awakening of the Possessed. Look at that. Is that a bunch of the Wind Charmers? Yeah, Wind Charmers, yeah. Really cool artwork there. Really like that one. That's a cool one. And Vanity's Ruler and Secret Six Fuma. 
Okay, getting down but in packs, getting really low. Um, but yeah, so a lot of really cool videos coming up. Uh, there's also a mail day from uh, someone called Pokemon Revolution. You guys probably don't know much about him, but he's definitely an up-and-coming Pokemon YouTuber. A uh, very cool guy who also has a lot of old Yu-Gi-Oh products. Um, so we got a mail day coming from him as well. There's a chocolate ala mode. And uh, yeah, there's some really cool stuff from him. I did already open that, and I'll have that posted soon. Um, so really cool stuff there. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else coming up on the channel in the near future. Uh, let's see, Deck Lockdown, Malefic Selector, another Union Carrier, nice, that's, uh, what is that, a $14, $14 card, I believe, so two of those, very nice, Scrap Orthos, and Malefic Divide, um, yeah, so, some really cool stuff coming up on the channel, and I also have a ton more Dual Overload, so if you guys actually want to see me open more, just, uh, show this video some love, give it a like, if you can, share it. That really actually helps out a lot, like more than you would know. Um, so like it, share it, and uh, yeah, leave a comment. So helps out and uh, shows that you guys might want to see more. So if you do want to see more, just let me know. Compulsory, Hymnist, uh, Cross, Rose, Dragon, and um, Harmonist, and Paradox. So yeah, like I said, um, yeah, I have a ton more dual overloads. So. Just let me know what kind of style you guys want me to open. I mean, is, is a case too much? Should I do like a half a case next? Or should we just stick to the case even though it's a long video? Or, you know, just do a few boxes, limit it to 10 or 15 minutes. Just uh, let me know your guys' thoughts there. Five-headed Link Dragon. I just don't want to... Oh, and a double level pillow. That was a good pack. And a Golden Castle. Some solid reprints. But uh, I don't want to flood the channel with do overload videos. So just let me know what you guys think and uh, what, what type of video format you want me to have there, how many we should open, because uh, I mean, I'll, I'll open another case or two or three or however many you guys want to see on the channel, but I uh, just got to make sure, you know, if that's something you guys want to see and how you want me to break it down, so, final packs here, I said we'd probably have 10 packs left in this entire case, we're coming up on 40 minutes, I mean, it's definitely a long video, so anybody who watched the whole thing, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And uh, another Crossroads Dragon King Dragoon. Really does help out a lot if you do watch the entire video. But uh, if you don't have time, I totally understand. And uh, I hope you guys are staying safe. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, crazy stuff going on right out there right now. Uh, splurring my words over here. Oh, Artifact Dagda. Almirage. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of crazy stuff going on. And I uh, just hope you guys and your friends and family are safe and uh, well taken care of. Hopefully you aren't affected too much by this whole thing going on, but uh, yeah, Malefic Selector, uh, Hymnist, ooh, Magline, Dolce's, uh, but yeah, hopefully it didn't hit you guys too hard, and if it did, then uh, just uh, try, and, try and get through it best you can, and uh, you know, things will, things will get better and uh, get over this craziness hopefully soon. So, Hysteric Sign, Blackwing Zephros, Lib the World Key Blade Master, Chaos Goddess, and Malefic Tune. Uh, but yeah, this, this, uh, all this, everybody's, you know, being, like, staying indoors and everything. It's giving me a lot of time to, uh, spend with, uh, my daughter and my wife and, and get a lot of work done and it's been, it's been kind of nice. So, uh, Celestial Night Lord Parshath, Zombie World, Emerald. Alright, last few packs here in the close of this video. Um, also, just to note, uh, probably won't do a real recap. Just kind of a, a cheap, quick one. Just because it would take uh, too much time to sort these cards right now. Live the World Key Blade Master. Double have Oak Hill. And uh, I just, I got a lot of other, other uh, dual overloads to open. And, um going to be sorting a bunch of bunch more all at once, so I just didn't want to do the work twice. Um, so yeah, so hopefully you guys don't mind that. Uh, Phantasm Emperor Trilogic, uh, Herald of Mirage Lights, Sky Striker Kagari, Fuma, and King Suki. Uh, but I will have uh, Dual Overload posted on my TCG player, so if you do want to uh, support the channel, Go ahead and check out my TCG player. Link is in the description along with my eBay store. But uh, Dual Overload will be on TCG player. 
And I'll post it in waves. I'll post it a lot tonight and then um, open some more up when I get some more time and post that. And uh, yeah, so if, you, if I don't have the card you want, just check back uh, in a day or two and uh, should be in stock depending on uh, how late you're seeing this video after it was recorded. So Flame Swordsman, Celestial. Oh, we actually got our third Impermanence. Wow, in the last final packs. I was not expecting that. That's actually perfect. I had a friend who wanted three Impermanences. And uh, look at that first case. I already got them for him, so that's very cool. Um, Impertinence, very good card. And uh, it's pretty affordable right now, so very cool. And uh, let me know what you guys have been doing to uh, keep up with Yu-Gi-Oh! With all this going on, are you guys still um, dueling online? Do you? Uh, I've heard a lot of people doing, um, I think it's a Facebook call with video, and you duel that way. Um, you can make like a... a tripod with just um these uh, boxes i can't i can't remember anyways uh if any of you guys have tried that let me know i think that's a really cool idea just um you know one of you has a camera going and uh on their field and uh, you can video chat with them and duel that way i thought that was cool but uh maybe a little bit of work to set up but uh, anyways so let me know what you guys have been doing and if you're still dueling at all sky striker ace zeke very cool and um, yeah, so just let me know, and let me know what you guys are doing to spend your free time. Give me, give me some stories. Um, I'll definitely be reading every single comic for sure. So you know, just uh, just let me know how it's going, and uh, hopefully I'll get you a reply if I can. And if I can't, just know if I don't get you a reply, just know that I did read it and I do appreciate it. So, uh, hymnist, tour guide from the underworld. Is that our first tour guide? This far into the opening. I think that's our first tour guide with the uh, alternate artwork. That's very cool. Looks really good. Really nice clothes there with the Omega and a Dinomiscus. Okay, so this has been our dual overload case opening. We had 12 boxes. Each box had six packs, and we opened them all. And um, here's our last pack. So let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. Hope you did enjoy it. And if you want to see more, give me a like. It really helps out a lot. I think that's our first Witchcrafter Madame Vere. Let's see if we can end this strong. Maybe um, another Predaplant uh, Anaconda or, uh, man, another Crystal Needle Fiber. <laughs> I mean, Phantasmay. Maybe just something simple like a Mining and Emergency. Something nice would be cool, but if not, that's okay. But let's see if we can get some last pack magic. Madame Vere, Compulsory. We'll go ahead and do the back first because I think it is the middle card. So, um, Synchro Transcend. Then we have a Digusto Emerald. The compulse that we're moving. And the final card of the video is an Ancient Gear Ballista. All right. So nothing big at the close, but uh, you know what? I think this was an amazing case. Uh, like I said before, probably not going to do a recap. Um, oops, bumped the camera. Just because it's just so many cards. I mean, let's just get these on camera here. So we have um, quite the stack of holographic cards. These are all the pulls we had so yeah really cool really cool set plenty of uh Celine's eight dollar card um yeah relinquished anima was like a five dollar card um yeah there's just so many good uh good cards in this set so lots of good stuff unfortunately won't be doing a full detail recap like i usually do uh, maybe i'll do that on a future video but for tonight i just wanted to get these opened and um yeah so uh, here's the small recap. So two carriers, one mining, Criston Halka for Brax, Needle Fiber, Cyber Emergency, uh, Predaplant, Verte Anaconda, two Phantasmes. Uh, we had multiple Selenes, but I only pulled one out. And then, uh, three Infant Permanences, probably the highlight of the video. Um, so very happy, very happy with these pulls. And, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Give me some feedback down in the comments. And, um... Stay safe out there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, check out my TCG player if you if you have time and you're looking for cards to uh, help support the channel. And um, definitely subscribe and click that bell. Like I said, all those insane videos are coming up soon. Tons of great videos coming up. If you missed uh, if you missed me talking about that, we're gonna be opening up a, a lot of a lot of good quality videos. So coming up soon. So I'll go ahead and cut this there. We've been at it for like 45 minutes, way too long. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, 
really helps out a lot, especially those of you that watch the whole video. And uh, yeah, so thank you again, you guys. And uh, let me know if you want to see more. Till next time, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll cut it here. Thanks again, guys. See ya.